सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीक्स पॉडकास्ट ऑफ डी सी यूनिवर्स यू आर वेलकम टू द पॉडकास्ट ऑफ नवमी एंड सुपरमैन एंड लोइ दिस टाइम द आफ्टर द टू वीक्स हाइटर्स बोथ द शोज आर बैक विथ एपिसोड फाइव ऑफ सीजन वन एंड सीजन टू ऑफ सुपरमैन एंड लोइ रेस्पेक्टिवली एंड नाउ वी विल डू not we actually it's i because you all know that shri rupesh not here because of his exam so i am doing the podcast alone today also as the reactions was uh, from the last night and now i will do the reaction for naomi this episode 5 season uh, one was fantastic and excellent in the uh, story building i think now the show has started finally going in its um, in its uh, right way right path it's uh, doing the right thing it is actually taking all the right perspective and uh, giving us the background story on what we can depend on in this story we can we find out actually how naomi's father and mother saves naomi's from uh, identity as a alien in front of the general steel who is uh, the actual officer of the dod in that uh, city and we also came to know about the background story of how the bounty hunter was sent from r29 to kill naomi and how she is being protected by the uh, combination of uh, D- and zumbado zumbado do a seemed a villain in the first part of the series but now it is being uh, revealed uh, gradually that zumbado is also from the same earth and he can be a uh, ally to naomi and definitely should be working with t who is a thanagarian and uh, thanagarian have their own power and he, she he can use that to save the girl she protects here in the earth that is uh, naomi and now to the next plot which is also being revealed they have gone for a adventure ride in this uh, plot uh, with uh, their full school campus uh, team and there they find something very natural not very natural and it is kind of a blue kryptonite which uh, was revealed and which was very hazardous to human lives but not to the aliens or from other planet people and i think this show somehow connects now directly with the arrowverse and cw universe because we also have seen in the uh, superman and lois episode that there are blue kryptonite yellow kryptonite and uh, uh the bizarro who is from actually from r29 has uh, had his own blue kryptonite attached to his chest so i think this have some connection with that uh, blue kryptonite thing and why it is here why it is being kept in that town in the um, in between the forest in the grumpy area and how it is being used by the um, villain who was actually being uh, being uh, is who was actually in the uh, um playing the role of human but actually being uh, very deceptive and less deceptive and actually he is sneaking in uh, between the woods and staying there as the professor and actually he is a alien but he is actually wanting to convey that uh, he is among the humans and he is just a professor and he is staying there and, and doing his own covert operations with the blue uh, kryptonite and then he shows his power and he shifts shifts him so into something very different and uh, tries to kill naomi but naomi somehow used her own power that is his steady uh, kinematic hand uh, boosting power which she used and uh, fires her, her, him into the uh, backyard and then runs away with his friend and in this uh, st- storyline we also find that uh, Naomi's a friend uh, have some crush on her and she's uh, actually having a uh, start of a new love life relationship and that's the things that are being portrayed in the episode along with that there was a, also another uh, revelation that uh, they have to do now have to their in the same next episode they will go to Adam Blake and will seek his permission or um, help to find out uh, why the bounty hunter was sent here and how it is who is who are the people who have been, who have hired the bounty hunter and they have also recovered a list uh, that is uh, being recovered by zumbado from the bounty hunter and in that list uh, they have zumbado also mentioned that uh, this uh, girlfriend that is uh, quella is also present and the bounty hunter is also bound to kill her also so these are the things which are actually g- gradually growing in the series for a f- uh, epic climax i guess where we will have to see where the other universe people will come and having their involvement and why they are, their universe was destroyed in r29 how bizarro is here in the rovers in superman and lois and how and why they have uh, do, do being doing what is they are being doing currently and um, 
why Naomi have her power and what are her power actually and how he can she can save the whole universe along with the planet uh, where she is now thriving that is Earth and uh, why are the Thanagarians like D and uh, Quella uh, also here and uh, finding it and why they are they being targeted by the bounty hunters and other peoples so these are the thing which are being actually very interesting to see in the uh, upcoming episode but I just want to say that this episode was also a very fantastic episode but though there was some pacing issue as always with Naomi that is the main drawback of the show until now but to, for me the rating for the episode will be 8.7 out of 10 but I think they can definitely def develop and grow in the structure if they want because the storyline and the plots are very interesting but somehow the editing and the direction looks uh, uh, very shaggy in some of the parts with the background music and some editing stuff where they have they are very slow and uh, in few of the shots you can also find out that uh, these, the shots are unnecessary and uh, with the college scenes and uh, some Thing like that these are not necessary because we make a very crisp uh, CW show but anyhow the budget of the show is not very high that's also evident I and I hope that CW will after the sale will this uh, show will definitely go to HBO Max and then we will have a very better part of that uh, series so this was the review of Naomi episode 5 season 1 and now to the next uh, CW show that is one of the best CW show that is Superman and Lois and it is the reaction of Superman and Lois episode 5 season 2 and in this is in this episode it was a uh, episode after a hiatus or a break of two weeks and we can see in this episode they are uh, actually very moving episode but not as exciting or as action filled like the other episode but we know that Bizarro is here in this world and he again come and try to kill uh, the woman who created her who is actually Ali who is staying here and actually brainwashing other people we saw a fight between Superman brief fight between Superman and Bizarro here with Bizarro uh, blasting his heat room heat blast from the mouth and his eyes uh, uh, vision which are the opposite power of Superman and Superman also trying to fight his Bizarro but Bizarro somehow overthrows him but uh, Superman finally helps to save uh, Ali and other people but uh, the doctor who was experimenting on Bizarro under the uh, mines were killed by Bizarro himself and then uh, Lois's friend the from, uh, girl from um, and uh, the Gazette, uh, uh, Smallville Gazette has also found out the reality of Ali, where when he she was being transferred or maybe hypnotized by Ali and being uh, who shown her own self, that is a hidden version of herself from another earth. So the, the story was somehow not very gripping this time around in the episode because it was a moving episode they are actually trying to build up some of the stones which are very important for the uh, next episode and we can see here the small wheel are having a party here the people of small wheel because it's lana cushing's um uh, the cushing family is giving their uh, household party with their uh, da daughter getting um, her daughter's birthday and celebrating the daughter being adult and everything like that and there there is uh, some problem the old girlfriend of uh, uh, Lana Cushing's husband came out and uh, um, then there was a family drama also there. It was very melodramatic this episode, uh, not high on action but somehow the episode was also as perfect as always because they have the perfect sound, light and editing and there is no problem as such that uh, as that of the, there was with uh, Naomi but uh, there was a connection here with Naomi that is the blue kryptonite we are talking about. We saw that um, yellow kryptonite can be withstand by uh, so all in all the episode was very fantastic to me and I think that this is the episode that actually will bring back all the crowd back with the uh, break after the break and then they are building out something for the future which will be very presentable to the audience and my review for this episode will be 9 out of 10 and until the next um, week until time when Sirup comes I will do the podcast alone and please there be uh, please there uh, will be different podcast and different Reaction, so please support us guys and uh, one thing for sure that uh, we will be trying to cover as much as possible content this year so the flash is the next series that is been coming out now with episode uh, not episode sorry season 8 of uh, um, 
uh, the CW universe continuity and it has already uh, given us the first four, five episode with the Armageddon incident and now they are coming back with the from episode 6 and uh, until episode uh, 22 maybe this time around so please then guys be there with us and uh, help and support us to grow we have already crossed 80 subscribers now and our next goal is 100 subscribers so if you are a fan of our channel please like share and subscribe the channel and uh, click the bell icon so that you never miss any notification from our channel and until next time hashtag DC forever.